Caleb, obviously a, a tough uh, result. Can you talk about your team's performance uh, tonight and, and just um, how you're feeling uh, looking back at this season? Yeah, well, it's a tough ending. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a big ask. We had, you know, a lot to manage in this game, but uh, I think the group believed because we've managed a lot in a lot of other games. And, um, you know, and then we have to manage losing Maddox 11 minutes into the game, you know, and, um, that, you know, that made it tough. Um, but in saying that, we, we played extremely bright in that first half. We scored a first goal, and the killer was the their first goal. You know, we can get into half, we're up 1-0. Uh, we know in the second half they have to come out because, you know, they need, need, would need a goal to, to go through. And then, you know, that plays into our hands. Instead, we, you know, we get stunned against the run with a, with a goal. Um, and uh, that makes it 1-1. In saying that, I still thought we'd find the goal in the second half. But uh, credit to, credit to uh, Houston. Uh, honestly, um, congratulations to them on moving on. I thought they defended uh, exceptionally well tonight, especially their back four. Um, Machado and Senderos were, were men tonight. Um, obviously, they were going against a uh, you know, young kid. Um, but, you know, listen, I can't fault my guys. They gave everything they had. And, uh, you know, this is one that hurts for sure. And, you know, we fall short. And, you know, we, we felt we could move on. Um, but uh, we didn't. Uh, when dust settles, I think we'll look back and you know realize that it, it was a good season. Um, but it's also a season where you know you think to yourself, what if? You know, what if? You know, we, we were full strength because start of the year and end of the year we're full strength. We show what we're capable of. Um, and even tonight, first half, we show what we're capable of. But uh, it was enough. Coach, you score the first goal, and then within a minute. Um, they generate a corner kick, they generate another deep set piece and eventually score. Can you talk about your team's response to going up first? Um, I thought our response was good. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a tough one. Gave, gave a goal on a set piece. I don't think it has anything to do with the response at all. I mean, is it a foul? I don't know. Um, you know. Talk to Spria, he can't get back in his spot. Are those factors? Yeah, I think they are, you know. But at the end of the day, we get up the goal. Uh, you know, Remick hits a wonder strike, and it's a goal. So uh, um, it's tough, obviously, and stuff like that happens. But, uh, you know, I thought that was a you know, big moment in the match for sure. You had sort of a tidal wave of injuries, obviously, in the last couple of weeks, but that's not the first time this year that that's been the case. Do you feel like just over the course of the season it's been difficult as a result of that just to find a rhythm to sort of get on a real run where you had, you know, the same guys, the, the you know, and everybody sort of in the same run of form at the same time? Yeah, I mean, that's the story of the season. You know, we had uh, good and bad. You know, the, the, the bad is that we weren't at full, th full strength very often this year. And, um, and yet we still were able to, to get 15 wins, which has tied the club record, and um, win the West, uh, playing a lot of different guys. Um, tonight we were as thin as ever. I mean, you know, we have, we're really deep in the bench. If you look in the depth chart in, in a lot of spots, four or five spots, you know, we're in our third, fourth guy. Uh, but that, that's the way the season was, and, um, you know, it became kind of the rallying cry a little bit. and. You know, you didn't see that affect our play in that in that first part of the game. Um, you know, that was a very good first half and deserved to score the first goal. And like I said, we get stunned, you know, with that set piece goal, and then we get stunned with another one in the second half. Um, but I can't fault my guys. And you know, I told them after the game in the five years I've been here, um, you know, this was one of my most enjoyable years. And it wasn't, you know, just 15 wins and winning the West. Those are all real positives that we'll realize um, when the sting wears off. But it was just being around this group of guys. It's a great group of guys. And it's a shame that, uh, you know, we're not able to move on because I think we could have done something, especially if we had 15 days or so to get, you know, a few guys back and healthy and more, more full strength. We really, really thought we'd pull this off today. Caleb, do you think this is maybe the toughest loss you've had in your career? I don't know. They all hurt. 
you know. But uh, I think any time you end your season, uh, you know, it's one of those things where if you have a group uh, that's bought in and believes, then it's always going to hurt the hurt even more, you know, when the season's done because uh, there's not a guy uh, in that locker room that believed we'd be ending our season. You know, they really believed we'd be moving on, and uh, you know, that's a credit to them too. Uh, you know believing that much even though we had so many guys out um, and that's why I enjoyed this group so much is uh, you know 1 to 25 they were all good guys and there was a great spirit in that locker room and you know uh, that's really what uh, made us uh, the team that we were this year is is the team in the locker room and the guys character um, so I really enjoyed spending a lot of time in the trenches with these guys and like I said, in a couple of days, we'll realize it was a good season. We made a lot of steps forward this year. Uh, we still need to make steps. Um, but, uh, you know, we had a good bounce back from last year. It seemed like the game was called kind of loosely overall. Do you think that that physicality affected your guys at all, especially given how banged up you were already? I don't know. Again, I think, you know, if we just get to half and we're up 1-0, I think the whole the whole game's different on the second half. And I just think they're able to go into the break knowing that they're through um, if they can just ride out that second half. And, and, you know, they're built to do that. They've done that this year. And um, so it played kind of right into their hands and they're able to kind of at halftime, you know, their coaching staff's able to make a few adjustments defensively, make it about a, you know, about a second half where they're just going to absorb the whole half. Um, and yeah, part of that is, you know, chopping the game. And, um, but I, I didn't think they were dirty. Uh, and like I said, I, I really give them a lot of credit. I thought they defended really well, really well um, tonight on our attacking group. But, you know, also we're missing some guys too, so we lack that, you know, maybe a little bit of quality um, in certain spots that, you know, might have been there if, if things were different, but you know, in the end, uh, congratulations to Houston. They're a good team. Coach, two weeks ago, I think the team was probably almost exactly where you would want it to be going into the postseason, and then a series of bad breaks, um, a bad field, and you're out of the playoffs. Does that make it this disappointment a little bit more acute, knowing how close you were to having the team exactly where you want it to be, and then some things you couldn't control end up sending you home early? Yeah, I mean, I think when you look at this team, um, and this is very encouraging moving forward, uh, we have the pieces to, to again, next year um, put together an extremely uh, positive season and, you know, make steps even further uh, to accomplish what we wanted to accomplish. So that's a real positive. The, you know, the negative is we just weren't able to, to do it this year, and, and we had the makings of being able to do that. Like you said, um, you know, there was a stage, I think after we qualified for the playoffs um, against D.C., um, where we thought we were going to get Adi back, and we were looking to be basically full strength. And I thought to myself, listen, this team can win it. And, um, you know, then the first leg we just – you know, lose a bunch of guys, and today we lose another, and then you know we hear Adi's not going to be back, and then Saba burns his foot, and you know Guzman else, you know in the Vancouver game gets an LCL, and next thing you know you're four or five players different. Um, so, um, so yeah, that that definitely derailed us. Um, but moving forward, we don't need to make a lot of changes. I think I think we can still get better in a few spots. Um, we won't hesitate to. Um, continue to, to add pieces. Um, no doubt we'll add some pieces to get even better. But, uh, you know, we've rebuilt our depth. We've rebuilt our core. We've added some quality in some spots. And, uh, you know, moving forward, we're going to come back better than ever. We have time for one more. We haven't had an opportunity to see you since, uh, since it happened. But can you uh, just talk about Roy Miller's injury and the, and the team's yeah. reaction to it? Yeah, I forgot about that, too, to mention. <laughs> Yeah, he last uh, we were working on set pieces, the last uh, um, set piece uh, of training. And he jumped up and headed the ball and then landed and popped his Achilles tendon. 
you know. So, um, you know, how do these things happen? I don't know. But uh, I don't know. I've been doing this a while now, and uh, things, things, you know, when you have a luck like we had this year at times and still rally and get through it and still do positive things, um, you know, it'll go in, in circles. We'll get our luck, you know, maybe next year. And maybe we'll, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of, my toughest years is followed by, and what I mean by toughest years, years where we had good teams where we were close, and then the next year we get it done. You know, um, you know. So I think this has the makings of a team that's going to come back stronger than ever and uh, be very hungry. And like I said, it's not like last year we have to make a lot of changes. But you know, some of these fluke things, Chara's, uh, you know, Chara's broken foot, Roy Miller's Achilles, um, some of those ones are are tough.